The Conservative Party is still said to be plotting against Rishi Sunak, all sorts of internal embroilings going on. Uh, is the Conservative Party ever going to pull itself together and survive the next election? I mean, I election? thought what you were going to say is uh, holding on to power at all costs by pushing the election out as far as they can well, humanly we know that make it today, go. We? And this yeah. was quite a yeah. significant intervention. It didn't strike me as games playing. You know, he no. very naturally said, look, my working assumption is second half of this year. Mm. I think most of us have really thought that's when it would be. He still, of course, has it in his gift to suddenly say in a few weeks' time if something extraordinary happens and suddenly fortunes look better for the Conservatives, he could suddenly say, actually, I'm going to go to the country in May. And uh, just quickly, uh, reform, do they chip away at the Conservative vote? I think the important thing is that they will also chip away at Labour's vote. And quite significantly, if Labour don't start saying something much tougher on immigration, that's going to be a real problem for them. A uh, quick lightning round. Frank Luntz, you think that Donald Trump's most likely to be president in the United States this time next year? At a 51-49 advantage, yes. And uh, who would you bet on as the next prime minister of the United Kingdom? I bet that Labour wins by a reasonably significant margin. Chris? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's spot on. I think, tragically, um, we have a, a void uh, in our politics of, of, of really powerful, inspirational political leaders with policies that have broad appeal and actually would make a difference in our society. And so that you're means saying... we're left. We're left with the, the, the dross, basically, on both sides of the Atlantic. I don't Did you think... just describe uh, Keir Starmer as dross? No, not personally, but oh, the, okay, Labour, right. the Labour Party... <laughs> just wanted to whole... check that. La Labour's not an inspirational party. I don't think they're really getting people on mm. fire in this country. And, and until that happens, as it did, of course with Tony Blair in 97, we're not going to see that kind of movement that makes for real change and real power in it's the hands of a government that can be... Do you agree? I want to see a hung parliament so that the people yeah, of this agree. country get proportional representation. People oh, are too disenfranchised. God. No, I, I agree. Proportional representation. Yeah, there's a move there in the comes... country for it, I tell it. Yeah, the I tell coalition you. government... I tell you what happens with, with, what what happens with proportional years. representation is you get Italy. No, you don't. But anyway, no, you don't. Um, we can come back to that yeah. another night. Thank you all for being with me and thank you to Frank Luntz uh, over there in the US.